someone shooting at us! Well, if they weren't, we wouldn't be at AK-47 Stadium here in Hexon, Texas. Bring your body armor to the stadium or wear a body bag for the ride home in the hearse. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Baltimore Razors take on the Hexon Oilers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing because NFL Game Day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they got to keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little untidy pod pregame, so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally, you don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the refs early and often. No mercy. And the kicker just bit the dust on that play. Someone will have to come off the bench to replace him. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Boom! And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Briggs? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Well, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, right now what day is it and it's first and ten <laughs> nice pick up for six yards <laughs> and that'll be second down and four Defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Boost Dirty Trick. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown! Touchdown! Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. And the defense jumps on sides trying to mutilate the QB. If he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer. Keska say, what the fuck, the fuck, the fuck? <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Second there.
third down and forever. Hot one, hot two, hot nine. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Rainbow. He's got the ball now and he's gonna. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Second down in a lot. down and long. The offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. Man, it's still edible now. Just gotta sweep off the charge parts. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, with a punishing hit. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. Hot, one, hot. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Hot. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. lateral to his teammates. We're talking street ball here, Brick. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Second down and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Caught for the first down. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Whoa, and he laterals the ball to the player behind him. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Briggs. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. The teams are all tied up at the end of quarter one. We'll be right back. And it's first and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. 
good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Gordon, did it? How good can it be? Third down and five. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Man, these guys have metal balls. They're going to try to pick up the first down here. Do they jiggle when they run? They claim to Laura. He said balls, not bells. I can't believe the defense didn't stop the run. Or maybe they just secretly wanted four more shots at the QB. That's probably more like it. And it's first and ten. an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. That run is good for ten yards. Second down the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. hit that was and that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size because he just walked all over him and it's first and ten talk about butterfingers he should have had that one Second down and ten. You know this preserve dirty tricky thing. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And he's off to the races. He's hit the Here comes the defense. The 30. The 20. Oh, and they got him. That's a touchdown saving tackle. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. What a miss, what a miss. Ah, oh, shit. Who did we get out of Second down and inch it. Defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> First down and five. Oh. The defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. Second down and seven. point attempt that kick is good uh, as expected those are pretty much just gimmies they're looking for a good return after giving up points let's see how they do yeah let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. They're a mix of tiger blood, shark blood, and internet comments. Run. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Second down and ten. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. 
20, and the defense is on his heels. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. First down and seven. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. He picks up five on that play. And we're at the two minute warning. Second down and five. You've got to catch that. Third down and five. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. The defense calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he put all of his foot into that one. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a lot. Oh, man, he really wants it. Man, what a hit that was. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. Second and three. was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Rim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up in the crack of noon. We're talking about the NFL, you moron. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. First down and nine. At one, eight. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, uh, save it. Prince's ex girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And then put six points on the board! The defense can do anything to stop a thrown half good, man! You mean aside from bribing the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Well, this should be an easy 
that chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the halftime show. It's still anyone's game here as we start the third quarter. Oh, I missed it, Clem. I was out in the concourse grabbing some food, and there was this mutant leopard line, and he left in an angry hop. Why did he leave, Bricks? Uh, people kept dipping their chips in him. <laughs> when you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. Oh, man, that worm just ate the player alive. You got to steer clear of the pits. You know, my sister had a tapeworm almost that big. Name was Frederick. I didn't know that they made great house pets. He just got to sleep in leather underpants. The little buggers like the burrow. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Looks like the defense called the ginormous dirty. There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. He broke free and has open field in front of him. The 10. It's a touchdown. Mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Look out! That's an all-out attack on the QB. Now the QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shellac play. Yeah. And it's first and ten. before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Glenn, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the, the funeral expenses, that is. Second down and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Great catch for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated, and I'm a team agnostic. And that'll bring up third and one.
Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. Man, this is rough. Kicking field goals is not what he does, but with all their kickers dead, they had to give it a shot. And it's first and ten. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and ten. about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. Defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game. First and ten. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump his ass. Second down and long. was stalled and here comes the field goal attempt straight through the uprights the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing but their team has a chance to respond Six on the play. Third 
third down and eight. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. Third down and eight. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Don't you guys love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. And it's first and ten. Crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. Uh, is the game over yet? I gotta go to the vet to have him reattach my big toe to where my tongue was again. It just fell off for the third time today. I was barely even chewing on it. Second down and more than the QB would like. And that's a sack. The quarterback has to get rid of the ball there. Third down and the offense needs a miracle. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, with the brutal hit. First and ten. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. Second down and a very lot. QB is saying his prayers. And they went to the air and came up big. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it.
Third down and ten. He took a beast boost and check, and they stack the line, and he gets his bell run for a yard. And the two-minute warning sounds. There's not much time left at all. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Point range. How do you like your brains? Scrambled or fried? Breakfast special coming up. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. He's at the 10. And he scores. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? How many times? First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Picking up chunks of yards now. Nice reception for 10 yards. Second down, and the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? Any field goals over 40 yards are difficult. He's going to really have to boom this one. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. <laughs> the Oilers got spoiled today and come up with a loss. Good teams find a way to win, and bad teams find a way to lose. Looks like they've got some work to do after this one-point loss. We've all got some work to do after this one. For example, your enunciation could have been a tad bad at Graham, and, and Junior, you can't swear all the time. I don't know what the fuck you're fucking talking about, you hot fucking shithead. Speaking of shitheads, let's hear the MVP of today's game brag about the win. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it.